Have you ever wondered how far $100 can get you in Japan? $100 USD is about 16,000 yen. How far is that gonna take us? Today we'll find out. Today is my day off, so we're gonna head to Ikebukuro. Taking the train there cost about $3. Next, I'm gonna pick up my usual coffee-flavored soy milk from Lawson. Now that I got my coffee fix, I'm walking around Ikebukuro. Can you guess where I'm going? If you said Sunshine City, you're correct. I've been dying to go to the Sanrio Cafe. But sadly, there's a line. And I'm starving, so I guess I'm gonna skip it today. But instead, I'm gonna take you to my favorite fast food joint. Today, we're gonna have tempura over rice. I love tempura so much, and it's really cheap. I ordered the fried veggies over rice, and it came with some pickled veggies and some miso soup. It's pretty unhealthy, but it's so good. And the total was only $3.69. Next, I'm gonna do a little shopping. I found these white skirts. I thought this one was kind of cute, but I actually like this one a whole lot more. So I think I'm gonna get this one. And I got it for only $16. Then I went to Thank You Mar where everything is only 390 yen. And I found this. Sanrio Ramen. Isn't it cute? I definitely had to get one, so I ended up getting Cinnamon Roll because he was less flavored. And because I'm in Ikebukuro, of course I have to play some crane games. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Let's get I thought for sure I was going to win something, but I just ended up wasting 20 bucks. I hopped on the train and on the way home I picked up some bubble tea. Whenever I'm craving bubble tea, there's always a gongcha nearby, so I usually just end up going there. I like that gongcha has milk substitutes. A lot of the bubble tea shops in Japan don't have them. Also, I decided to stop at 7-Eleven to pick up some groceries. I got some bananas, some eggs, some yogurt. I really like this one. I also got these chocolate bananas. They're new. A great summer treat. I also got so much nuts. I love these truffle flavored nuts, they're so good. I also got some frozen fruit for my smoothies. And then I also got my chips. I love this brand so much. They have pizza flavored chips and pickled plum flavored chips. I also had to get some rice crackers. And of course, my daily vitamins. And lastly, for dinner, I'm getting conveyor belt sushi. I saw they had a California roll, which is really strange because that's not a normal thing. So I had to get that. I also got my favorite salmon sushi, of course. I got some shrimp tempura sushi, some cucumber sushi. I love conveyor belt sushi. It's one of my favorite places to go out and eat. And sushi has become like one of my comfort foods after moving to Japan. And it's so cheap. My whole meal was only like $6. I'm actually surprised. After a whole day of spending, I still have almost $17 left. So I guess this video is gonna go into tomorrow and we're gonna spend the rest. <laughs> I need a caffeine boost before I go shopping, so I got myself a matcha tea latte from Pelly's. I got my morning matcha, and now it's time to spend the rest of the money. Let's go. In the mall, they had this adorable pop-up shop with only handmade goods. And 
the prices were really reasonable. They had rings for 500 yen, they had these clips for 200 yen, they had most of the earrings for about 500 to 800 yen, they had these adorable pins. These were a little bit more pricey, but I understand why. Also all these cute earrings and necklaces. Everything is so cute. But I really like this bracelet, so I think I'm gonna get it. It's like a pastel rainbow. It's so cute! Ugh. So I only have a dollar twenty-five left, so let's recap. With a hundred dollars, I took the train, I got a new skirt and a new bracelet, I got some fun snacks, and some groceries. I also went to two cafes, ate lunch and dinner, and played at the arcade. We did a lot more than I thought we would. But that's all for now. See you next time. Bye!